Well, for my best research, I'm going to try doing this experiment. Uh, I'm going to start taking um, 20,000 international units of vitamin D3. Now, I know a lot of people say to take a maximum of 2,000 inter international units, but what I'm going to be doing also is taking a lot of vitamin K2 versus just vitamin K1, which is a clotting factor. K2 tells the vitamin D um, to regulate the calcium not into the heart, not into the uh, veins, not into the bloodstream, but into the bones. Um, actually, rats they, with rat poison, um, what they do is they use a K2 blocker along with massive amounts of vitamin D. And what that happens is it calcifies their hearts and veins and it kills them. So it actually could be dangerous to take a lot of vitamin D3 by itself. Now, if you get a lot of vitamin D through sunlight, there seems to be no problem whatsoever. So obviously, there's a little bit difference some, somehow, no matter how they look at it. And this is the vitamin D3, which is the natural type that the human body uses. Vitamin D2, uh, which you'll often see sometimes prescribed by doctors, is actually uh, the plant-based. It's about, well, it depends on who's talking. It could be... Uh, a tenth to one sixteenth or one quarter or one one sixteenth or a tenth of the potency of vitamin D3. But I'm taking vitamin D3, 20,000 units a day a lot is a lot. What I'm attempting to do is I'm going to see if I lose weight without even trying, without actually working out. I know I can lose weight like crazy when I go work out three hours a day and I got the discipline to do that, but not all the time to do that. Um, this type of K2 also is the MK4 type. Um, which does not stay in the body very long, which in some ways the MK7 type, which is derived from bacteria, is better. But um, it's, it, it could have a problem with some people where it takes out um, too much calcium out of the body because it stays in the body a long time. And I'm going to be taking quite a bit of this. This is 5 milligrams or 5,000 mcg micrograms. Um, the latest information I have is that per 1,000 units of vitamin D3, to take uh, 100 micrograms, so I'll be taking 5,000 micrograms, um, actually for 20,000 units of D3, even on the latest specification, uh, they say that you only need a maximum of 2 milligrams or 2,000 um, Micrograms. This will be 5,000, but this does not stay in the body a long time because it's the MK4 variety. And what I've been reading, though, is that this reduces your appetite naturally, helps you burn and synthesize your fat. Yeah, I'm going to try it because, you know, the only time I notice I get skinny and ribs if I work out like crazy, but if I don't work out like crazy, I, I get fat. And... Um, that's always been the situation with me all my t life, and I've pretty much always worked out a real lot, like uh, to excessive amounts. So, but I haven't been recently over the last couple of years, and I'm, I'm going to try this experiment, see how this works out, see see what the hell happens. So, and uh, of course, I take a lot of <laughs> vitamin E, the natural kind, is the natural kind, B12, acai berry, astragalus root, uh, the real niacin type. Um, I mean, I, I got loads of vitamins here. Um, this one I always take, Nature's Way Alive. Uh, cod liver oil. I mean, I got tons of them over here, but uh, I'm going to concentrate mainly on the vitamin C. And 30, I'm, I have been taking 30,000 milligrams of that every day. Just this type, actually. Nothing special. Nothing special, nothing fancy, uh, nothing expensive. Because a lot of people say you got to buy all the most expensive stuff. Sometimes it is true because, just as a note, if you take a lot of vitamin E and it's not of the natural variety, it'll be harmful. This is of the natural variety. This is the real type. Um, a lot of vitamins are like that. Actually, even this, uh, I don't know if this has it in here, might have uh, like a motto. Lysopene is not useful if it's the synthetic variety for being an anti-cancer if it's the type of lysine from the tomato it is useful obviously when they're synthesizing these vitamins they're not doing it completely as it should be um, take a lot of this too but uh, I'm going to heavily concentrate on D3 along with the K2 the MK4 type and I have been taking a lot of vitamin C 
uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, don't, ex I don't expect nothing to happen right away, but it might. I've been researching this thoroughly because it is dangerous sometimes to take a lot of vitamins, especially a fat-soluble vitamin, but my best information is this is not dangerous as long as you have adequate amounts of K2. You could have too much K2 if the MK7 kind is better that stays in the body uh, longer. But if you have too much of that, it leaches out too much calcium. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of the MK4 type, which will be more than adequate for this type of D3. So, hey, you know, a lot of people are looking at, you know, how are you going to lose weight at the, at the end of the holidays, especially January 1st and they join a gym. Um, I don't think I want to join a gym anymore because it's more time to drive there and shit. It's not too much the working out time. It's the time to drive there. How do you get there? But how do you it's like, you know, five bucks worth of gas every time you go there, plus an hour of driving for the round trip. Right there, it kills too much time. So, um, it was cool if you're on the way someplace, that's all right. But uh, I'm going to try this experiment and see if it works. It may work. It may work. And if it does, great. Also, in this video, if I have it here someplace, I don't know if I do. Maybe I don't have it here someplace. Who do you? Who do you? Who do you, I don't think I have it here someplace, I was just looking around. Uh, who do you, if you take who do you for as curbing appetite, I haven't been taking that in a million years. Uh, you want to chew the pills, keep them in your mouth, that curbs your appetite versus just taking a pill and swallow it. If you don't chew it, keep it in your mouth while you're chewing the cactus extract root. It doesn't work. That's how it works. That's why it doesn't work for a lot of people. You just don't take the pill and swallow it. I'll put that in this video as a side note. I actually put a separate video on it someplace. Uh, so anyway, uh, just figured I'd pass this on. Been doing a lot of research. I don't guess I don't. I, I actually buy a lot of books, and uh, I I take this camera, take pictures of all the pages in the books. I PDF them, and I read them on a computer, and I highlight them uh, areas and uh, try to get the best information. I'm not a doctor, but I sure am very well read on these subjects and my information comes from doctors not from uh, bloggers or things like that so um, I'm not an authoritative source but then again the information I'm telling you is from authoritative sources and you can find this information out in various places but it is controversial some people will tell you flat out not to take that much D3 under any circumstance um, but my best information is the danger is when you take that much D3 is not having an adequate amount of K2 and like I said again I want to repeat that to emphasize that you could take a lot of K2 where it's too much um, now if it's of the MK4 type if it's too much it's not going to be so much of a problem because it's excreted from the body but if it's of the MK7 type which actually is the preferred type because it stays in the body longer but if you take too much of that it'll actually remove too much of your calcium alright so just figure I'd pass on some of these quick tips and um, might be I, I tend to think this might work but I don't know I'll find out and if it does work I think a lot of people will have a great solution for not only um, this is a lot allegedly a lot to do with immune system support too I think it even says it on here yeah you know so might prevent a lot of problems in the winter time because you're not getting any adequate sunshine and you might keep you slimmer too so how's that 